Welcome to another edition of the CINCOM Smalltalk tutorial series. What we're going to focus on today is the Object Studio Designer, which means the Object Studio GUI Designer. What we're going to look at is some basic usage, and we'll follow on in another tutorial with some more complex things like lining widgets up, making things look nice in the UI, and a tour through more of the interface than we're going to go through here. What we're going to do today is build a simple interface and show you the basics of using the tool. So to get started, let's get rid of this. And we're going to go in here to the interface, and you'll find that in the launcher, there are two things you can do to launch a new interface builder. You can either hit this button, or under File, New, select Interface, and you'll be building either way. So let's just hit the button, and that'll bring up this little thing. Now at this point, it's asking you how to subclass this. Typically, you just want to go with the default, and I'm going to build my common thing here. I'm going to build counter UI, and I'm going to append controller on it because that is typically how we do things in Object Studio. All of the interface pieces you're going to build are typically going to be subclassed off controller, and we call them controllers. If you're coming from VisualWorks, this will sound a little confusing for you, but that's the way things are working here. So we'll say OK, and this will pop up the UI designer. Now, an interesting thing about this that might be confusing off the bat, it certainly was when I first looked at this, is that I have here the canvas, so I can resize that obviously. I have the set of tools up here for aligning and things like that, but I don't have the UI items. Well, I go to Form, New Item, and then I'll get the set of widgets I can use. So at this point, I can pick things like buttons and input fields and static text and numeric input fields. So I can pick any of a variety of things. What we're going to do is build something very basic. Now, the way this operates is you're going to pick the widget you want, and instead of dragging it over, you double click on it, and that puts it down here. And then you can drag it around. You see the little handles on it. You can also resize it and make it as big as you want, width-wise, height-wise, and so on. So I do that. And now let's say I want a numeric input field because what I want to do is I want to build the typical simple counter thing that I'm going to do. I'll put that there. And then finally, I want some static text. So I'm going to put some static text up here. Now at this point, I want to put some labels on these things. I want to have names for them and labels. So the way you do that in Object Studio is select the component you want and double click on it. It'll pop up a little field for you to edit. Now the name is the logical name for this that you would use later on programmatically if you want to enable it, disable it, that kind of thing. The text is what's going to appear on it. So that's where I type in the meaningful text. And let's make this a little bigger so that you can actually see what I've got. So you can see there it says counter. So I'll click off it and there it is. Now I'll double click on this. This is my input field. I'm going to call that count the maximum length, the definition, that's where it's going to start. So if I wanted it to default 10 or 20 or some other number, I could. I'm going to say OK on that and just leave that be. You see I've got a 0 in there. Now I'm going to double click on the button, and I'm going to give this a name. And I'll call this add 1. And I'm going to give it the text, add 1. And now I'm just going to say OK. Now at this point, I've give, given basic definitions to everything. The interesting thing is, is that to save this, I can either hit Save or Save As. Let's hit Save. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop up something I probably don't want. It's going to offer to file this out for me. This is kind of an interesting thing. In the old days, Object Studio was a file-based system. Now we typically save things into packages. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move this window down a little bit, and I'm just going to close it. And it's going to offer to save. So I'll say Yes. And I don't want it to go to file, I want it to go to package. So I'll say package. And I'll just say, let's go with the default of counter UI. So the interesting thing is, I put a little icon into the launcher here. If I want to launch my program, I merely need to double click on it. So there it is, I'm running it. It doesn't do anything because I've added no behavior, but it is now functioning. If I want to actually browse the code and go back in, I can browse the system. And there are a couple of different ways of getting back into the interface definition. Let's go down here to counter UI. If I click on it, notice this little button down here, Edit and Designer. That's how I go back into the designer. And form widgets still don't come up. I can go to Form, New Item, get that back. Now at this point, I want to add some behavior. So I want my Add One button to actually do something. So what I can do is I can go into Methods, and it's going to offer to take all the methods that are over here on the left and move them to the right. Well, I don't have any methods. So let's close out of this, and we'll close down this. And I'm going to add a method. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to just call that API. And I'm going to add a method called add1. I'm not going to give it any behavior yet. 
and I'm just going to leave it sitting there so that when I go back into the designer, I can now double click here and go into methods and say I'd like to add one to be used whenever I have the action event for the button take place. So now I'll say OK and I'll say OK on that and at this point I can actually start writing some code so I'll say well let's just do self inspect. Let's just have it do something. So we'll put that code in there and at this point we'll quit out of this so that we can save it. So we'll say yes package and we'll go with the default there and it went ahead and I've got my create items and initialize bindings which is where that's the code generation. If you're familiar with VisualWorks, the way it does things is it writes a window spec. If you're familiar with VA Smalltalk, it tends to write code that generates your UI. That's how things work in Object Studio as well. This is actually all the code to lay out the UI here, and it's been put in code form instead of a specification. Here's my API method, which it generated for me because I specified it now. And I'm just going to put back the code I had, so just inspect. And now we'll double click this, hit that, and now my UI functions. Now, it doesn't function all that usefully yet. It still doesn't actually do what it says it'll do. What it says it'll do is add one. Well, it turns out that in the create bindings, if you come over here and create items and look here, you find that my input field is called count. That's what I put in here. So somewhere in here, I've got count defined. And let's go ahead and edit it so I can show you that. So let's close this down and we'll edit it. And you see my input field here I called it count, that's what it is. So I'm going to close out of this and we're just going to go in here now to the API method and if I wanted to actually do something useful like add one, I'm going to say count put value, that's the API I want to use, that's how I put new values in. Count get value, that's how I get existing values out, plus one. And that's really all there is to it. If I double click it now you see now it tends to function the way I wanted it to. It doesn't look great, I haven't lined anything up, but you've now done a basic walkthrough of how to do a number of things. You can come down here, you can edit stuff in the designer, put stuff down, and give them properties. You can go ahead and save your things out to a package, and you can get things to basically function. In a follow-on tutorial, we'll do a little more with this, go into more of the behaviors that you can add, and look at more of the widget set. But that's about it for today. Till next time, have fun with Syncom Smalltalk.